Teaching your dog to come back on command is not only a great thing to have when your dog is off leash, but it's a life-saving command for any dog. And in this video, I'm gonna show you and tell you everything that you need to know to complete it successfully with your dog at home. Smokey, come. Smokey, come. Come. Smokey, come. Yes, good girl. All right, you guys, so we got Smokey out, which is one of our board and trains. We're gonna start with the introduction. I have my 20 foot long line. I have my treats, my treat pouch in front of me. So we're gonna start in a level one environment, which is nothing else going on in this room. Very non-distracted. Now, as far as equipment on your dog, you can have whatever collar you guys are comfortable with to start. The most important thing is to be realistic. I see so many people put their dog in a sit, stay and, and, and recall their dog. And at no point when you're recalling your dog is your dog gonna be in the middle of the field waiting for you to call them. All right, so we're gonna let her get away from us because that's important. Smokey, come. Yes, target yourself, target yourself. Good, good come. So one thing that you guys can do, one tip, is when you're using the long line, when you recall the dog in, you can stop and then step on the leash so the dog can't get too far away from you. Sit, good. Now, if the dog ignores you, this is what's very successful, and I think this is what separates success and not. When the dog completely blatantly ignores you and they hear you in a non-distracted environment or in a less distracted environment, you wanna make sure you correct or leash pop the dog for some sort of accountability when they ignore you. All right, so we got some kibble being thrown out over here for Hawk, so this is gonna be a heavier distraction. Smokey, come. Leash pop. Yes, good girl. She's doing well, you're seeing a couple different corrections, but it's normal because she's distracted. So what we saw earlier was a non-distracted environment recall. She turned around really quickly and got paid. Now this is because of currency. So we have to remember dogs' motives, right? They're animals. So I have beef liver, there's kibble over there, there's people over there, there's another dog over there. If your dog is more distracted by something else, they are naturally, intuitively, and primally likely going to choose that more a higher currency, right? So if you say, hey, look at me. She's like, yeah, you don't have much for me, but this offers way more to me. So you have to make sure that that correction or that accountability is in place. Many of you at home may be struggling with your dog on any avenue, on any level, mainly because that correction or accountability isn't in place. So if your dog knows the behavior well, and they just don't wanna listen because they're choosing other things over you, why would they listen to you? Is there some sort of repercussion for these actions? If not, then of course, they're always gonna choose the higher value than you. Now, when recalling your dog, make it fun. You must target yourself. You must be inviting to your dog. And most importantly, reward your dog the minute they commit to you. You could use verbal rewards the moment your dog decides to come towards you. Now, when your dog is recalling to you, you don't want them to come get a treat and run away or come within your vicinity or come within five feet of you and then run away. But the reason why this normally happens is because you've taught your dog that that's what recall is. You've already told them that all I want you to do is come near me and I pay you. So make sure that you're really paying attention to how you pay your dog to ensure that this doesn't happen to you guys. Smokey, come. Correction. Correction. Yes, good come. Good, perfect. Good. She almost looks like a fake dog recalling that fast, but that was a perfect example you guys saw there. There's a dog being fed in that room. She's a hound. She smells that food. She smells the dog. She knows what's going on. I said, come. She's like, I'd rather not. I corrected her. Ah, ah, come. Sit. Good. And then I corrected her again when she didn't come and she flipped around. Ah, sit. Now that's a perfect example of why you guys have to follow things through. She's gonna take advantage over anybody that she can. So I told her to come, I told her to sit, she did. She clocked out as I was talking. I said, nope, back, nope, back. So that's why it's important to be paying attention. I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna do it the correct way. Right there, I was too focused on you guys on the screen. So I'm gonna focus on her and show you how to do that better to make sure that your timing is better with the dog, to hold the dog accountable to capture these things better. She's gonna come out. Smokey, come. Yes, good come. Now watch. So good, sit, good, off. Little negative punishment there. Paying the dog, good. Holding, good. So last time she got up, boom, nope. Good, there. Holding, okay, break. So make sure your dog doesn't release themselves because that's going against everything that we're trying to teach the dog. Now, once you've done this for a good amount of time and your dog is recalling to you without any pressure, you say, dog, come. They turn and they happily come to you and sit in front of you. You can transition to level two to the next environment. All right, so level two, environment two, outside. 
I'm not like in the grass. I'm not right next to another dog, although there's a dog that way, which is gonna be level three, which we're gonna work our way that way in a minute. But this is level two, letting the dog be distracted by these environmentals. And just again, not going from one to three because that's where people fail. Smokey, come. Pop. Good, come. Good. What we're looking for here is we're looking for the dog to not get any pressure at all. We say the dog's name, they come, we reward them. That's when you know you're starting to make progress. And that's when you know you can start moving on to the next environment, which is closer to the other dog. And of course, the ultimate goal would be to be out in public or be out into uh, realistic environments with dropping the leash. One common question that we get from all you lovely people there on YouTube is if your dog is not responding to the leash pop or the leash correction, what should you do? You should reconsider the environment that you're in because you may be in a too distracted environment for what your dog already knows. You're biting off more than you can chew essentially. Or you need to switch your tool of accountability, which means your correction, the consequence. If your dog doesn't come back, what's gonna happen? So we'll talk about that a little bit later in the video. It's very important though. Now she's doing really well with these recalls and the commitment. So we're gonna start blending in a level two to a level three, which means a, uh, another dog. So another dog's in the training area here. So we're just gonna get closer. And we're, this is development. So again, don't bite off more than you can chew. She's walking out here, there's another dog. Smokey, come. Pop, good, yep, good, good. Encouraging the dog, good. I didn't really go crazy with her on that recall, only because she kind of half-assed it there, so I'm really gonna go crazy with her and, and really excitedly verbally praise her, break, when she fully commits to me without a correction. Smokey, come. Yes, good girl, nice work. So that commitment there didn't require a warrant to correction, which means she mentally said, okay, I'm gonna come. So in the beginning of the stages, the dog is going to likely need some sort of pressure in order for the dog to go, oh, me, sorry. Uh, and we're gonna, now we're gonna proof this out. And we're gonna keep working on this. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hang up the treat pouch. I'm gonna work on this recall without the motivation and just my voice. Smokey, come. Good come, yes. Good girl, sit. Good, holding. Yes, break. Smokey, come. Yes, good. Smokey, come. Yes, good girl. Good girl, break. All right, now we're gonna do the ultimate test, which is going in, recalling the dog off of Darby, the other dog. I am gonna bring in heavy rewards for this because if the dog does it, that's the jackpot. All right, so now is the final test. I'm gonna recall her off of Darby while in play. You notice how I got the leash back in my hands because like we talked about before, I do not wanna have some bad training protocols here. I wanna make sure that I can enforce things if need be, and I know this is a heavy distraction. Smokey, come. Yes, good girl. Really good job. Good job, good job. That was so good. So that recall right there is exactly where we're gonna end today's session. It was absolutely beautiful in a very short time. For you guys at home, when you're really looking to let go of the leash, you wanna do this with the leash dragging in new environments to stay safe. But ultimately, what I suggest to all my clients, because you don't wanna be an eight, we, we don't have deer running around here, we don't have rabbits running around here. There's things out there in the environment, especially for a hound mix or other dog like a terrier that wants to chase things that we can't practice for. I always recommend for safety reasons to use the remote collar and introduce it properly. I have a link right here that you guys can watch how to introduce that properly. I also have a full instructional video and a tutorial and a course in the description below. Absolutely perfect job. We're going to put this dog away. Remember when you're going out and you're training, I would probably do 10, 15 minute sessions, recall the dog six or seven times. Do not bite off more than you can chew. Make sure that you don't go to level two or level three until you pass level one. Ultimately, you will fail. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate it a lot. We had a good time, didn't we? I wanna call this dog sausage sausage so bad, but it's, I don't know, it's not sausage. Smoky sausage, good job. All right guys, bye, thanks for watching. Freak.